Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. The year to their podcast, it's time to start the show. Be sure to hold on tight, here we go. Exploring all the different Disney destinations. Here to there, it's time to start the fun. Hey everybody, I think I am live. I can't really tell. <laughs> Let's hope that I am. I'm going to go on to uh, my Facebook and see if I am actually live. Kristen Perry, there we go. I am live, Kristen. How are you? Thank you for coming on. Uh, looks like this is working as I look for it on my phone somewhere. Yeah, I'm live. Awesome. Frank, how are you? Chris, Kristen, how are you? Uh, now I'm starting to see the uh, the the things pop up. I'm trying a brand new software. How's everybody doing, by the way? Happy New Year. It's been a while. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this software. <laughs> so we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully uh, it'll work well. And I'll give it a couple minutes for everybody to come in. Hope everyone uh, is having a very happy New Year so far. I had great holidays. Uh, Frank, I know it is freezing where you are. It's freezing where I am. TD, what's up, man? How are you? Uh, I it is. Let me see. I'm going to see what what temperature what temperature is here. Let's see who has the lowest. I know Frank, you're going to be up there. We are right now. Ah, it's only 21 degrees where I am right now. That's that's not that bad. Um, Stacia, how are you? Thank, nice to see you. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh, what is that? Great. So I'm wondering, like I said, I want a new uh, software program. So I don't really know. Uh, how this is going to go, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, the plan is we're going to talk some Disney news, catch up a little bit, talk some, uh, Disney deals that it's released yesterday. I have my cheat sheet here, so I'm sorry if you guys, listen, I don't have the time to memorize this stuff. <laughs> I have it right in front of me. So Matt London, how are you, buddy? Thank you for coming on. I don't get a, I don't get an, an accurate count. I can't see it. So I don't know how many people are actually on. I see. Uh, there you go, Frank. Minus 15. That's insane, man. How do you live in Maine? Minus 15 degrees is ridiculous. The other day I woke up and it was 6. I'm going to have to get coffee. It was insane. Jenny, I want to say your name right this time. Ready? Bernie. Because I was saying Bernie. Did I say it the same way? <laughs> I think I said it the same way both times. Uh, Dawn, hello. How are you? Cancel for another day tomorrow. Minus 30 wind chill. In Northwestern PA, yeah, it's br it's been brutal, man. Jenny, what's the weather like in Hawaii where you are? I want to know. I got to know what it, how nice it is. Rub it in a little bit. Let us know what the weather is where you are right now. Uh, because it's freezing. It's freezing in Florida. Uh, it's freezing in Walt Disney World right now. What's it? What's the check? What's the weather like in Anaheim? What's anybody out there in Disneyland? Colleen. It's saying you've been asking yourselves that for a week. Joe, how are you, man? Joe Reynolds. Uh, I know I'm going to miss you guys, too. I'm sorry I'm not down there right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm supposed to be at Marathon Weekend this weekend. I am not there. Um, so, yeah, it stinks. I broke my rib. I couldn't. It was just a smart move. Uh, Jenny, it's 79 and sunny. It's always like 80 and sunny in Hawaii. It's ridiculous. Katie, hello. How are you? Katie Perez. What is it in Anaheim? I, I'm just curious. Anybody know? Let's see. Anaheim, it is beautiful. 73 and sunny right now. When I sit in a 21 degree weather, poor Frank's in it. What did you say? 15, 9 degree weather, whatever it is. It's brutal. So let me ask you guys how everything is going so far with me. Uh, sound okay? Everything okay? Did, is the feed all right? Like I said, this is a brand new uh, software that I'm using. Uh, so I hope it's okay. I hope it's working out for you guys. Um, I don't want to wait too much longer to get into the, uh, the meat of the, uh, the live Facebook live, uh, John, as we say <laughs> here in Philadelphia, uh, dude, Stacia, Stacia, who isn't super jealous of Jenny to be in 80 degree weather in Hawaii right now. It's unbelievable. The one time I went to Hawaii, I got sick and no, 
it's no surprise to anyone who's ever uh, watched or listened to my podcast or caught any of the live shows. Of course, I got sick with the one time I went to Hawaii, having a hundred degree fever. It was ridiculous. Jennifer, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. It begins with a W. Thank you for coming on. How are you? You don't have to worry about being late. I'm not taking roll. You can just come in and go. You come and go as you please, man. I'm cool with that. Nobody has to worry about it. Um, Kristen says I sound good. Frank says it sounds good. Good. I'm glad everything's working out. All right. So let's get into uh, first. We guys want to talk about first. Disney meals or Disney free. No, it's not free. Nothing's free in Disney. The Disney deals. All right. So yesterday Disney announced three, count them, three uh, new promotions. Uh, this is how I paid the bills, guys. So hang with me for a minute. <laughs> if you don't mind, share the video too. I don't know, somewhere you can, uh, you, there's, I don't know where the share button is because I'm not on Facebook. I'm looking at a third party. Uh, but if you wouldn't mind, please share the video. I'd really appreciate it. Lori says when she was out walking in the snow today. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just like walking in Castaway K out in the snow. Exactly. Uh, I should put my glasses on, right? That probably would be good. So, yeah, Samantha's right. So there, there are three new deals uh, that Disney released yesterday. One of them is a free meal deal. Let me tell you right now. It's not free dining. Nobody worry. Nobody get freaked out. It's not a free it's not free dining. If it was free dining, I'd still be looking up trips for right now. <laughs> I wouldn't have time to do a live show. So it's not a free dining. But it is I've stayed at a value resort uh between let's see what are the dates. Uh let's see. May 29th through August 25th, booked by February 11th. If you're staying at a value resort and you will get one Free meal per person per day, a uh, counter service meal. That's what you're looking at. That's the, the, uh, the, the deal. Uh, offer excludes, um, Little Mermaid standard rooms and at the, at Disney's Art of Maze. Uh, can't talk. Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Yeah, Samantha, just a meal. I know. It's not a big, the, the prices are good. They're lower. Uh, you get one free meal per day per person and a counter service meal. So you're not going to, you know, Hoop to do or Cinderella's World Table. No, you're getting, you know, Pecos Bill or Columbia Harbor House or one of those. Uh, but Columbia Harbor House, man, don't don't sleep on the uh, on Anchor's Away Sandwich. It's awesome. Uh, Casey's, yes, Frank. Casey's Corner. Get the corn dog nuggets. Uh, so yeah, that's the first one. Um, you have to book a, a non discounted five or six day room and theme park tickets. So that's what we're looking at for. Number one, check this out, guys. Ready? If you want to get a free quote, let's see if I can find it. Uh, it does, Colleen, you're right. It does make a, a bit of a, a bit of a difference with the family. Uh, for a free quote, you can email me at, check that out, phil at ear to their travel.com, or you can go over to my website at, check this out, ear to their travel.com. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, Samantha, it's, it, um, it, it doesn't, it, you know, if you're not, if you're doing deluxe dining, I don't know how much, it's not really going to help you anyway. Um, Jennifer does include the magic bands. Uh, if you were staying at on Disney property, you're going to get the magic bands no matter what. Uh, Stacia, uh, let's see. Yes. So basically, yeah, if you're, if you, if you get the dining plan, yeah, you get an extra meal, uh, in there is basically what it is. So, yeah. That's, uh, I know, Frank, we're, we're cutting edge 21st century here, man. I got, got all kinds of, I'm going to blow your mind later on too. Just wait. And I'm just learning to see what this, learning what this software does. All right. So the other deal, and I'm sorry again, I'm going to go to my notes a lot because I, you know, I, I couldn't, I had a lot of trips to do today. I couldn't prepare that much. The second deal. 20% off of Disney rooms this spring and early summer. Uh, save up to 20% on rooms at select Disney resort hotels. Book through March 7th for most days, February 18th through April 14th of 2018. Uh, book through April 7th for stays, April 15th through June 10th. That's 20% off. If you want for, uh, more information on that, you know where to find me. Where are we at? There we go. Eartotheirtravel.com. Fill it, eartotheirtravel.com. You can go there. Go to my website, request a free quote, email me if you have a quote, if an issue, I'll help you out with that. The third and final new offer. Now, this one, Jenny Bernier, where you at? <laughs> this is for Alani. 
I don't think you are, I don't know if you're on a, the same island. Uh, but, and, and this is only for annual pass holders. Like Disney announced it was a really big deal yesterday. It's not. Uh, annual pass holders can get, it's actually pretty decent though. 30% off, uh, stays at Alani. Also a hundred, did I cover you up there? <laughs> also a hundred and fifty dollar resort room credit for it. So, uh, the rooms have to be booked by January 10th. So you have six days, people. You want to go to that line and get that deal? Six days. Get on it. <laughs> and this is, that's valid through most days, April 9th through June 7th. All right. That is the business side of it. That is the thing that, listen, I make my money selling Disney travel, right? So, uh, I love doing the podcast. It's a lot of fun. I love doing these videos, catching up with you guys, but uh, I have to sell trips to make money. Uh, and I'm free. I work very cheap. Uh, yeah, she said locals already get that same deal, Jenny. And yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, I, again, I work cheap. I'm free. So if you have friends, family, or you would like to book a Disney trip, again, where, where we at? Phil at ear to their travel.com. Ear to their travel.com is where you go. Uh, again, I have my notes. I have my little things here. So, you know, anyway, there are other deals going on this winter and this spring, ones that were already announced that I'm not going to go into tonight. So again, email me. I'll let you know if you have a date you want to look at, dates you want to go. You just want to know what the price is. I never mind answering questions. You can email me. My phone number is all over my website. My cell phone's there. You can call me, whatever you like. Um, okay. By the way, guys, in Disney news, who saw? <laughs> so Matt, no real deals for August just yet. No, they're not. There will be deals released for August, but they're not released yet. Uh, look for later in a month, early February for those deals. Um, Bethany Marie Miller, what is up? How are you? Thank you for coming on. You are, you are late, but you're not late because as I told someone else earlier, I'm not taking role. We're good. So, um, okay. So here we go. Uh, that's what I was going to get into. By the way, um, uh, Sorry, I keep, now I keep looking at the questions. It's cool because I don't have to look at my iPad. I can just look at you guys. Uh, Rebecca uh, Cahill, do you think that's all they have, obviously, for the spring? There's always a possibility that another uh, promotion will be released. I don't know. They don't tell us. Literally, I found out that the promotions that were going up yesterday went up about 20 minutes before it was posted. So, yeah, I don't, I, I would say it don't rule it out, but I, I don't, I honestly, and not told in advance. Uh, Cindy Mitchelltree, uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Hello, thank you for coming on. New viewer, it's like first time caller, long time listener, right? Uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, by the way, I do have a phone number. If anybody's interested, let me know. You can call if you're not too nervous. We can talk. You're, you're, I don't know how many people, like I said, I don't know how many people we're looking at here who are on right now. Uh, I hope it's like 300. But <laughs> I don't know how many it is. So, all right. Other Disney news. This is what I want to get into. So, did you know, people? Is this on? I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Did you know that you can now get a Dole Whip? Yeah, a Dole Whip at Pop Century. Did you know that you can get a Dole Whip or a Dole Whip float at Pop Century? No, I am not kidding. <laughs> yes, Frank, I will hang up and listen to your answer. I love that on sports radio. I just have a question. Uh, I'll hang up and listen to your answer. Don't talk to the guy. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, so you can now get a Dole Whip at Pop Century. 21 viewing. TD, that is low, man. I expected way more than 21. All right, well, it's my first week back, so we'll next week hopefully we'll have 40 or 50 in at one time. Um, So, Rachel Barron, how are you? Thank you for coming on. Uh, yes, I am serious. Dole Whips at Pop Century. Uh, look it up. Same price as Dole Whips everywhere else on property. You can get them now. So, uh, and now with the, with the, uh, well, I won't get all that. But anyway, yeah, Dole Whips at Pop Century. Awesome. It's another reason to stay there. Um, so <laughs> let's, uh, that's what's going on. Let's see. Anything else going on? Yeah. Right now, like I said earlier, it's Marathon Weekend in Walt Disney World. Tomorrow is, the Walt Disney World 10K, the um, half is on Saturday, the full is on Sunday. Unfortunately, I am missing all the races. I'm super bummed about it, but what are you going to do, right? Got injured, can't make it. But 
Uh, I'm looking for my mom. She's not on here. TD's saying hi to his mom. I'm looking for my mom. She's not on here right now. Uh, I signed up. I don't know if anyone else did. Did anyone sign up for the Star Wars Dark Side Half Marathon in April? Uh, I am signed up. I am hopefully not going to get injured, and I'll be there. So that's super exciting. I also signed up for the Star Wars Virtual Half Marathon so I can get my Coast to Coast Castle Run medal. So that's very exciting as I have my drink for my goofy dog. What's funny is you guys have to watch me take a drink. I don't have to watch you guys take a drink. <laughs> Stuff thought I had. Anyway. All right. So let's get started on the Disney trivia portion of the show. Um, who's ready for Disney trivia? Say I. I know I am. Here's where I'm going to blow your mind, people. Frank, you especially. Let's talk about the prizes, right? What prizes can we win? Lori, that's awesome that your daughter and son-in-law signed up. Um, Sonia Mitchell Tree, where do you get the Dole Whips? Uh, they're going to be in the cafeteria at Pop Century. Uh, so that'll be really, really cool. You guys, whoa, whoa, mess- messages are coming in super fast. Dolan, thank you. I like my Goofy Mug, too. It's pretty cool. I actually got this when I, after I ran my first Goofy in Walt Disney World. Terry, Coke, welcome. Um, everybody's ready for the, for the, it's weird because I say something and I get the messages like 30 seconds later. So everybody's excited for the, for the, uh, the Disney trivia. Okay, let's get started. Here's what you can win on a Disney trivia tonight. So the first thing is, check this out. I'm going to do it like this. Ready? Ready? Who's ready for this? You can win the Disney Who's Who book. Ah, look at that little, little magic trickery. Even though I got to get a new keyboard. It's got to reach up to get to it. Are you going to that one? Who wants to win the mini ears? Ready? You can win those mini ears. That was a weak snap. But you can win those mini ears. I don't know what they're called. I have one set of those to give away today. Also, I have the... That's not the right one. Where is it at? $25 Disney gift card to give away. So, those are the three prizes. We have the... No, this one. The who's who? We have the... Jenny said this magic. We have the gift card and we have the... I have such, I can't, like, I can't on my left, my right, and the, the mini ears to give away tonight. So, we're going to get started. I'll take those down. We don't have to stare at those the whole time. Uh, let's see. Let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. You guys can just kind of stare at me the entire time. Let's get started. Here we go. <laughs> Frank says, what kind of sorcery is this? It's a cool program. I'm really excited about having this. I, like I said, I can actually take phone calls as well. Here's the number, but I'm not, don't call me yet. All right, nobody call me. Uh, please. But here's the phone number. I gotta get rid of the other stuff. Uh, that is the phone number right there that will call my computer and I can talk to you guys. So take it down. You can call me later. All right. Who is ready to start? Here we go. So like I said earlier, I wasn't going to do a national, (laughs) national, everybody's making fun of me with my graphics. Listen, I'm getting, I'm, Getting cooler by the day. So uh, I wasn't going to do a full trivia thing tonight. I was going to just ask a couple questions. But then I think that it was National Trivia Day today. So, all right, we got it. We got to get, we got to get. I have 10 questions for you tonight. All right, 10 questions. And uh, for your chance to win one of those prizes, all you have to do is get one question, get one answer right, one uh, question correct. Answer in the comments like you guys have been doing. Uh, after it's over, I'm going to go through all the comments. I'll pick three winners at random from the people who got questions right for the three prizes. Uh, simple enough. So just answer one thing correct. Here we go. And before we get started, and I know this might be a little counterintuitive because um, people are, you guys want to win. But if you could share this for me, I'd really appreciate it. I guess more people to see it, more people listen to my show, that kind of stuff. More people book trips. I can keep doing this for my job. So please click uh, share. I really appreciate it. All right. Here we go. First question. Question number one. What was the name of the machines that would take you deep? Now I got it. I got to find my, uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a second. We got to get my, where the heck is the clock? Stopwatch out. There we go. What was the name of the machines that would take you deep under the ocean in the old living seas attraction? You have 30 seconds. Go. What is the name of the machines 
that would take you deep under the ocean in the old living seas attraction. Do a little Jeopardy music. <laughs> Matt, I'll, my, my story about how I broke my rib is not a good story. It's very boring. I had bronchitis, coughed too hard, broke it. Uh, it wasn't a fun rib breaking story. What is the name of the machines that would take you un, under the sea, under, under the water, in the old Living Seas attraction? I did not see any of the answers come through just yet. Um, let's see. I see. Here we go. We got a few coming through. I'll wait one second to give the answer. <laughs> I see a couple answers that are actually kind of making me laugh. Um, Patricia Graham, like my mom is here. Hello, mom. <laughs> How are you tonight? Um, okay. The answer, and a few of you guys got it. The old elevator type machines were called hydrolators. I, I repeat, hydrolators. I see a bunch of you guys got it right. Uh, yeah, they were called the hydrolators. You would get in them. They, they would shake. The bubbles will go up and then you would end up under the sea. Uh, the problem was, uh, a lady, did anybody hear about the lady who sued Disney and said that, excuse me, she ruptured, <laughs> she ruptured her eardrums on the hydrolator. Did anyone hear that? So, uh, yeah, she actually sued Walt Disney World and said she ruptured her eardrum going under the water. Uh, in the hydrolators. Turns out, though, the hydrolators didn't really go anywhere. It was just this, <laughs> Lori spelling does not count. No. So, uh, you literally would get in a little box. It would shake. Bubbles would come up in these little tubes. A second door would open. You would leave. It didn't go anywhere. So, uh, yeah, you she couldn't have punctured your eardrum. So, the, so if you got it right, you are, um, you are entered into the running for one of the three prizes. All right. Question number two. What was the name of the submarine? Look at that. Somebody answered. A few people answered submarines. She did lose, Colleen. She did lose. I don't think they even went to court. Uh, what was the name of the submarine attraction that was in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom between 1971 and 2004? I'll give you a couple extra seconds. I think I hit the gun. Jumped the gun on that one. Um, so what was the name of the submarine attraction that was in Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom from 1971 to 1994. It's weird because like I don't have anything to do while you guys are answering, so I kind of just sit here by myself and just look at the camera. <laughs> um, I'll give you guys up to 32 seconds to get it this time. So here we go, 30, because you know I jumped the gun. All right, the answer, of course, I see a couple of correct answers coming through. Was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I see a lot of you guys got it right. <laughs> Somebody answered Hydra later. I think for, I hope it was for the, if it was for the second one, that's even more fun. Um, okay. A lot of you guys got that one right. So good job. Jason Gall, thank you for coming on. Uh, I'm trying to say hi. Sandra Elizabeth, thank you for coming on. Dawn, Sonia, I think I said hello to everybody else. Jacqueline Murphy, hi. How are you? Thank you for coming on. All right. A lot of people got it. Kaylee Bork, what is up, man? Thanks for coming on. Jessica Hoffman, how are you? Thank you for coming on. Lots of people. Okay. Uh, next, question number three. What show did Food Rocks replace in the Land Pavilion in 1994? What show did Food Rocks, get it right, replace in the Land Pavilion in 1994? Do I hear Google machines working on the other end? I think that I do. Who's got it? Who's got the answer? What show did Food Rocks replace? It's a, I can't say that. Maith Solace. I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on. I hope I pronounced that right. Hello, and thank you for coming on. Uh, all right. So, 30 seconds are up. I see a couple of the answers come in. I'll give it one more second to let a few more come in. Because it seems like it's even a little more delayed with this uh, with this bad boy. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, everybody's getting it right. The answer, as you guys see the, the answers rolling in, of course... Food Rocks replaced Kitchen Cabaret with a K, uh, which had operated from open day of Epcot in 1982 all the way up until 1984. Um, Michelle, thank you for coming on. I think you got Denise. How are you? Thank you for coming on. Everybody else, I think I said hello. Nancy Toady, welcome. Thank you for coming on. Mom, no, I won't put my glasses on. <laughs> I look old. I look old enough already. Do I really need my glasses to make me look older? I don't think so. Ma'am, I'm eight years old. 
Would I be here shopping alone? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Next question. Name one opening day Magic Kingdom Fantasyland attraction that is no longer in operation. Go. Name one opening day Magic Kingdom Fantasyland attraction that is no longer in operation. What do you got? I have, let's see, how many do I have? One, two. I have the answers, though, so it's kind of cheating. But I have one, two, three. I have four here that, that I would accept. Opening day. <laughs> Jenny actually got my joke. That was cool. One opening day, a fantasy land, Magic Kingdom attraction that is no longer in operation. I want to see one out of these one, two, three, four. Went a little long. What do you guys got? I see a lot of correct answers coming through. Way to go. That is really awesome. Um, the four answers that I would accept are Snow White's Adventures. It wasn't Scary Adventures just yet. Uh, the Mickey Mouse Review, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, or the Skyway. Those are the four answers that are correct. Looks like a lot of you guys got it right. Um, some of you guys are just copying wrong answers off each other. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. This isn't school. All right. Next question. Um, yeah, here. Okay. What was the original name of dinosaur, of the attraction dinosaur in Disney's Animal Kingdom? What was the original name of dinosaur in uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom? Go. Matt, you're a teacher, but don't, don't, you know, people, if they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. Nothing I can do. <laughs> the answers are on the screen. You know, everybody has a chance to win. You just got to get one right. That's the fairest way to do it, I think. Um, Matt McGinnis, how are you? I didn't see you there. Thank you for coming on. Who's got the answer? Where? Wow, I passed 30 seconds. All right. I see all the answers coming in now. So Dinosaur was originally called Countdown to Extinction. That's back when I worked there in 1998. Uh, actually, a lot on a lot of the vehicles, the it still says, I think on all the vehicles, actually, it still says, uh, CTX Rover, uh, Countdown to Extinction Rover. Uh, what do we got? Amanda Riggin, Matt Parsons. Hello, guys. If I'm talking to one of you guys or two of you guys. Thank you for coming on. Um, yeah, Countdown to Extinction is the right answer for bonus points, and this does not count as a correct answer. There was a company that sponsored not only that attraction, but all of Dinoland. Uh, when Dinoland first opened, what was that company? Does anybody have it? Curious. There's some tip-offs still in the land. Excuse me, especially in that attraction. So, let's see. What we got? Everybody's, okay. <laughs> Here we go. So, those are the easy ones. They were the first five questions. They were easy. Uh, I think if you were planning on winning a prize, you had to get one of those right. Yes. Frank, uh, Michelle, Jason, all correct. McDonald's was the original sponsor of Dino Man and of, excuse me, Countdown to Extinction. Uh, if you look up when you're walking in the queue of Dino Man, when you're at the load station, you'll see uh, those, one second, you'll see those um, yellow, red, and white tubes that have like the, uh, over your head, that have the uh, compounds, like the chemical compounds on them. Those chemical compounds on those tubes are actually for ketchup. Uh, mustard and mayonnaise because it used to be McDonald's. So there's a little tip. There's a little cool, little fun fact for you tonight. There are all kinds of stuff on these, uh, on these podcasts. All right. So those are the easy ones. Let's get to the hard ones. All right, guys. Who's ready for the hard question? Here we go. This is a, this is a tough one. What show was previously in the theater where you can now see, um, Voyage of the Lord, uh, Voyage of the Little Mermaid in Disney's Hollywood studios? So what, show was previously in the theater where you can now see Voyage of the Little Mermaid in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Go. What show was there before the Little Mermaid show? And, uh, yeah, this is a tough, these are going to get tougher. So everybody get, take a deep breath. Hopefully you got one of the first ones correct because these are difficult. <laughs> um, I laugh at myself. I'm sorry. I get about nine seconds to get your answers in. And we will see. Katie, you thought it was Ronald's clothes. I mean, they are the same colors, right? Uh, you're, you are all set. We're done. Who got it? 
Matt pulling it out at the last second. Of course, the name of the short-lived show that was in that theater for less than a year was Here Comes the Muppets. That was, I see everybody getting it now. Uh, Tarzan was over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, the Tarzan show. Uh, Tarzan Rocks was over there. Uh, for bonus points, there was a second live Muppet stage show at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This does not count for the correct answer or wrong answer or right answer. What was the second, the name of the second live Muppet show at Disney's Hollywood Studios? Anyone know? Curious to see if anyone knows that one. All right. Moving on. If you answer that one, let me know. Uh, moving on to the next one. As I hold this up so you guys can't see me. Uh, wow, Laura, you have Here Comes the Muppets on tape. That is cool. That's something I, I honestly, I never saw that show. So that would be really cool to see. Uh, next question. Uh, Matt got it right. Days of Swine and Roses. It was Muppets on location. Days of Swine and Roses was the second live Muppet stage show. That was over by uh, where Muppet Vision 3D is. Great job, Matt. That's awesome. Um, all right. Next one. What was the name of the Epcot 3D show featuring Professor Wayne Zelinsky? Go. The Epcot show that featured Professor Wayne Zelinsky. I can't give you the name of, um, the actor because you'll get it, but it was Wayne Zelinsky. About 14 seconds, 13 seconds left. See if you get it. There's a lot of downtime here. It's kind of, kind of beatboxing myself. <laughs> Frank, I see your answer. That is not the correct answer, though. Uh, you're close. Um, so, all your time is up. The show, of course, is here they come. <laughs> I mean, it's like beep, 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 beep it on my list. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was the name of that show that was in that theater. Of course, that was there. Uh, originally it was Captain EO, which re then it was replaced by Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Then Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was replaced by Captain EO. And now it's that Pixar short films festival mess of a show. Uh, you don't have to go see that. Don't go see that. It's, it's, you can get it on DVD. You don't to go see that. All right. Good job, everybody. You got it right. Um, all right. Next question. Before Pecos Bill's Tall Tale Inn was expanded to the size that it is today, there was a bar, and I say I have bar in uh, quotes because, of course, there was no alcohol served in Magic Kingdom until pretty recently. But there was a bar next door to Pecos Bills. What was the name of the bar between Pecos Bills and the Country Bear Jamboree? Ready? Go. Or as Homer Simpson would say, the darn Country Bear Jamboree. <laughs> um, the, yeah, Samantha, the... Uh, Hollywood Studios had the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playground playset adventure. Uh, but the show was actually Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Or honey, I sh well, no, I messed it up. Um, yeah, Honey, I Shrunk the Audience was over at Epcot. Um, let's see. So the question again was, uh, what, was it? what is the name of the bar, quote, unquote, that used to be next to Pecos Bill? The answer, of course, is the Mile Long Bar. Why was it called a mile long bar? I will tell you why. Because there was a, there were mirrors on either end of the bar that reflected the other side. So it looked like the, uh, the bar was actually a mile long. So Samantha got it. There you go. Samantha got it. Wild Horse Saloon, a bunch of you guys are answering. I wonder where you got that. I don't know the Wild Horse Saloon, but if it's something that I don't know from Disney history, let me know. I don't know. Everyone's saying Wild Horse Saloon. All right. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> it was the answer that I'm looking for. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the mile long bar. All right. So I have two more questions. Get ready. Warm up. I hope you answered one correctly. It looks like most, if not all of you guys did. All right, here we go. Jason got it right. Who else got it right there? Uh, Nancy got it right. Matt London got it right. Uh, okay. Here we go. Question number nine. What was the name of the 130 foot tall water tower with the Mickey ears that once resided at Disney's Hollywood studios or Disney's MGM studios a while back? What was the name of the water tower at Disney's Hollywood studios or 
Disney MGM Studios with the Mickey ears. They took it down to uh, start construction on Toy Story Land last year, a year and a half ago. So, what was the land, the name of that tower? The stack actually still went up in the Disney Studios in Paris. But the one at Hollywood Studios is now gone. Uh, time is up. Of course, the name of that water tower was the Earful Tower. I see a lot of you guys got it right. They all might. <laughs> it's so funny how these answers come in like 20 at a time. Yes, the Earful Tower is right. Um, so great job, guys, for getting that one right. All right, so number 10. And this is the hardest, most difficult question that I have tonight, right? So here we go. <laughs> the questions and the answers are still coming in. Hardest question I have tonight. What is the original name of the Swiss family treehouse in Magic Kingdom? What is the original name of the Swiss family treehouse in Magic Kingdom? It's a tough one because it's not, I'm going to tell you, it's not that different. That's my hint. It's very close to the name that it has now, but it's not the same name. Uh, so, yeah, that's a pretty pretty tough question. You have about seven seconds left, so get your answers in, like Final Jeopardy. Write them down so you can hit the button. We can see what your final answer is. All right, time is up. I don't know if anyone's going to get it. Hopefully somebody gets it. Um, we'll see when I look at the comments later on uh, in a little bit. The answer is, let's see who got it. Swiss Emily Robinson Treehouse. So the answer is, oh, where'd it go? The Swiss Family Island Treehouse. Now, there's only it was on opening day merchandise. It was on the park maps opening day. The park maps the first couple of years. Robinson Family Tree, Swiss Treehouse. I don't see anyone with that word island in there. So, yeah, it was actually called the Swiss Family Island Treehouse. Uh, that's a tough one. That was the toughest question I may have ever asked on this um, on this there podcast. Um, or on a live show. All right. So I got everyone's answers in. Everyone's got it. Um, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to sign off. I'm going to check all the answers and I will come back in just a little bit. What time is it? We got 807. So I figure in a couple of minutes, uh, <laughs> my mom said I made it up. I did not make it up. I can't. Sh Let me see if I here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. That is true. I have a map from the 70s on my wall. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a picture of that. Uh, hold on one second. Um, no, it's not an island. You're right, Samantha. It's not an island. But the island is where they landed in the movie, right? So that's why it's called the Swiss Family Island Swiss, Swiss Family Island Treehouse. Okay. I will take a picture of it. Where is it? Adventureland. Hold on one second. Let's see. Where is it? Uh... It's an adventure land, right? Am I crazy? Where'd you guys go? Let's see. There we go. Now, I took a picture of it. I will show you. You guys see that? It's number 44, Swiss Family Island Treehouse. See? I wasn't lying. All right. So, I'm going to go for a couple of minutes. I did not make it up. <laughs> um... Matt, do not encourage my mom, please. That's not, it's not a good thing to do. Um, so I actually had a friend of mine, Johnny Shortsleeve, wanted to call into the show. Um, or he wanted me to call him. Uh, debating. Should we do that? Should we do the call or should I do, uh, here's what we'll do. I want to go. I want to tally up the, uh, the votes. I'm going to give away the prizes. And if anybody wants to stick around, to, for me to take a call, or if you want to call uh, Mr. Johnny Shortsleeve, I can call him. I want to try the cool phone in option. I want to be the radio host. <laughs> so if you guys are if you guys are up for that, I'm going to do that. So, all right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to tally up the votes. I want to be back in a couple of minutes, and uh, we will give away the prizes. And if you guys want to do a couple phone calls, we'll do a couple phone calls. Have fun. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Again, share the video if you can. This one's going to be the one that a lot of people are going to want to watch because the trivia is there and all that fun stuff. Uh, please share it. Please like it. Please uh, come back in a couple of minutes. I'll see you soon.